Welcome back to Civilian Tactical Construction Channel Edition, because today we're attempting to make $20 rifle rated body armor one OSHA violation at a time. So is it possible? And what are the three ingredients required? Well, the ingredients are so simple. You're gonna need duct tape, a fiberglass welding blanket, and two ceramic tiles. The welding blanket was from Harbor Freight. The ceramic tiles were from Home Depot, and the duct tape is just whatever you have lying in your closet, coming to around $23. And the construction process, well, it's incredibly simple. You take your two ceramic tiles, place them on top of your fiberglass welding blanket, grab your duct tape and wrap up the whole thing. And just like that, you are complete. The thickness is actually pretty impressive. Just a little bit thicker than a HESCO plate and about twice as thick as a more modern level four plate. But the weight is exactly comparable. I think this is just a little bit less compact. So what might the application of $20 body armor be? Well, maybe you don't have the coin to drop on level four plates. However, I would say still don't risk your life if you can help it. And I would save up if you really need body armor, but there may be some other applications for this. And those applications, I believe, will all depend on how well it does, if it can stop pistols, then to see if it can stop rifles, then to see if it can stop green tip 556. For example, if this can stop pistols, it may be an interesting idea to line a door panel with, or maybe to create a bulletproof wall if you use welding blankets and ceramic tiles, as crazy as it sounds, maybe that could be totally possible. We're gonna find out. Up to the point where if it is effective enough, maybe you would want to use it as body armor. You could get a tile cutter and cut some sappy cuts so that it fits inside of a plate carrier perfectly. It's not gonna be contoured to your body like some fancier plates, but hey, if this stops a bullet, it stops a bullet. So let's get firing starting with nine mil, then we're gonna jump to two, two, three, and then we're gonna hit it with green tip five, five, six. Now let's keep going, but first I've got a question question for you. Would you leave your pistol on the hood of your car while you went into the gas station? Of course not. That is simply asking for trouble. So then why would you do the same thing with your information online? Leaving your data exposed is kind of like leaving your firearm out there. It's only a matter of time before it falls into the wrong hands. And that's where today's sponsor Aura comes in. They lock down your digital life. They check for leaked passwords monitor who's using your credit, and even scan for viruses. And then request the removal of your data from shady data brokers. The result is protection from hacked accounts, stolen credit cards, and those creepy spam calls we all hate. So stop leaving your information vulnerable to data breaches. Go to my sponsor in the description, aura.com slash civilian tactical to get a 14 day free trial and see if any of your data has been exposed. First up, nine millimeter out of our Beretta APX. This is their cartoonized edition that actually looks pretty cool. Fire. We hit nearly dead center right about here with our nine millimeter and let's flip it over. Looking at the other side, we did get a pretty good bulge, but this is a lot of padding and so it didn't pass through. In fact, even though there's a good amount of bulging on the back, I would say this would be the most comfortable body armor to get shot with because it did have so much padding on the back versus regular stuff. But that I assure you is simply a guess. That's not science. Now let's hit it with a rifle round, two, two, three. I'm gonna be incredibly impressed if it can stop this. There's only one way to find out though. Three, two, one. We spread this hit out enough that it would be a legitimate hit. It's about two and a half inches apart. Flipping it over, we can see no pass through. It did push this through the duct tape, it looks like. I wonder, that bullet, I can feel it right there. It's right on the tip. If we dig through this fiberglass, which I should not be doing without gloves, there it is. It almost made it through and it's incredibly, incredibly hot. So for our green tip, let's try and hit it a little bit higher. But man, even if that green tip goes through, I am incredibly impressed. $20 and it stopped 223. And now for our green tip 556 out of our PSA Sabre AR15. Firing. Based off that slow-mo, we're just gonna see the damage because yeah, I saw dust coming out the back. This is the front. I hit it twice to be sure, one up here and one down here. The ceramic tile is actually still holding together all right. But if we flip it over, we can see two clean exits from that green tip 556. Now what some of you guys are not gonna be happy with me for saying is that green tip ammunition is not armor penetrating. You're gonna be like, how is that possible? It just penetrated our armor better than regular 223. 
but the steel core inside is simply a mild steel core, which means in some instances it will do slightly better than regular 5.56 or 223, but the black tip stuff, the black tip stuff has tungsten inside and it really is armor penetrating. And we did not use that today, YouTube, because that would be against your guidelines. So what are my final thoughts? Well, impressive for $23. It can't stop green tip 5.56, but it sure can stop 223 regular 5.56 ball ammo, no problem. I wouldn't use this to protect your life, but maybe to protect a wall or to armor a bedroom, this could be a good option. And don't forget, if you subscribe, this won't be the last time we see each other.